today we're learning how to run really, really fast. Hello everybody, my name is Oliver Leopold. So today I'm going to give you my first After Effects tutorial on how to make it look like you have super speed and make it look realistic. It's harder than just speeding up the footage. There are a few steps, but it can be done very easily. So as I said, you do need Adobe After Effects. Any version will work, but Adobe After Effects costs $19.99 per month. But if you want to do something like this for a living or as a really good hobby, then it's definitely worth it. Working on some freelance filmmaking and video making so I feel that the Adobe Suite is very much worth it. I have Premiere Pro, Photoshop, After Effects, and Lightroom. Let's just get started with the tutorial. So I put in the footage that you have already previewed and seen. So as you saw, it's a little boring. So we're going to start by bringing it into our composition. Now I can scrub through it and figure out when I want to start. Okay, so right here, that's exactly where I want to start. So I'm going to do Control Shift D and just remove this. Now I can bring it all the way up to the beginning. Okay, so we're gonna start this by doing layer, time, and enabling time remapping. Now, since we're just starting to run right here, we're going to click right here to start the running. Now, me walking until I finish walking, and, and now I will simply click the keyframe button one more time. Now bring them close to each other so then you get the speed effect. Okay, but this honestly will not look much different than just speeding up the footage because that's all it's doing right now. It's just speeding up the footage. So what we're going to do is select these, hit effect, time, CC, force motion blur. Since you should be using a tripod with this, it's going to blur anything that's moving. As you see, we get our speeding footage, and it looks really nice, but there's one last step that I always like to add. Hit P right here for position. Don't worry, it'll still keep everything you had. And once you hit this stopwatch, make a keyframe at the beginning and one at the end. Highlight them both. Make sure it's on jagged and 10 and 10. If you don't even see this window, go over to window and then wiggler. Hit apply. Okay, so now, as you know, anything that moves previously is blurred. That's why we get that blur moving from there to there. Now, to make it seem like this isn't a very edited or planned thing, we're going to basically remove the tripod effect while not removing the blur there. So it actually wiggles the entire video, but keeps everything non-blurred except for the running. And if you're even more of a perfectionist, just expand the window a little bit so that the wiggle doesn't make any blackness. A little out of proportion, but you can check proportions right there. It's 105 and 106. Try to get those as equal as possible. Okay, so that's pretty much our final result. It looks really nice, and this was a pretty short tutorial. Remember, you might need to fix up audio and something, but you can see one of my final products on my Vine. Just look up Oliver Leopold, and it's my newest Vine if I haven't posted since making this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.